Well, I've always loved to paint and draw and um, always had a knack for it. So <clears throat> I went to university to do fine arts and uh, graduated in 2006 with my Bachelor of Fine Arts. And uh, from there I knew the owner of this tattoo studio and uh, she kind of convinced me to get into tattooing. She thought I'd be really good at it. And I wanted to earn a living doing what I love to do. And most artists don't make a living off of painting and drawing. So I started tattooing just to try it out. And I really, really liked it, had a lot of fun. So it's kind of taken off from there. I've been doing it three years now and uh, I love it. Started out tattooing grapefruits and from there um, started tattooing my boyfriend and just people, anyone who was willing to donate their skin to me basically. So, and then, yeah, and I just had a knack for it. I really didn't have a hard time learning how to do it. It was just sort of learning how to use the, the gun or the machine as it should be called um, instead of a pencil. And it's just all technique kind of thing. I just, I just treat it as I would be drawing on paper, but I'm using skin instead of paper. So you, you were taught hands-on? Yes, yes, definitely hands-on. Um, I mean, I already knew how to draw, so it wasn't a question of teaching me how to draw stuff. Um, it was just a, it was just, she was just had to teach me how to draw on skin kind of thing. So uh, you start out as an apprentice, and um, basically she, um, apprenticed me until she felt like I was ready to tattoo the public and um, and then it just went from there so it, it depends apprenticeship phase can only last from anywhere from two to five years I only did it for about a year because she felt like I was well beyond where um, a lot of people were um, at that kind of stage so so yeah um, it all depends on the person's progress we have about a 500 person client base. Uh, I've probably done over a thousand tattoos so far so it um, it all depends. I mean like we've got definitely got a few regulars to come in and get tattooed um, on a weekly monthly basis kind of thing that are you know they're serious about it and they spend a lot of time here so um, so everyone's different. I mean there's some people that come in they get one tattoo and you never see them again but uh, but most people do come back. It's definitely one of those addictive addictive things. I do only custom work so if people bring me a picture that they've drawn or that a friend of them drew or something um, I will tattoo that on them but uh, as far as uh, my work goes it's all custom work. I only design stuff myself and uh, we don't have flash or anything here to, to for people to pick from because um, yeah it's it's more sort of art based stuff it's not something you pick out of a out of a book or off the wall. My personal favorite is portraiture. I love to do portraits. I have a knack for faces and I really have a passion for doing faces. So that's kind of my my more specialty. I like to broaden my horizons and do everything though. Like I'm still learning because I've only been in the business for three years. So I'm still considering myself learning. And, um, and I, I like to try all sorts of things. I like to try new things. You never know if you, if you don't like something until you try it. So. I try to broaden my horizons away from what I feel comfortable with and just do it. <laughs> my parents love it. They think they're really happy for me because they, um, they've always supported me as an artist. And uh, yeah, so they, uh, they're they really happy that I'm actually making a living doing what I what I love to do. And they're, they couldn't be happier. <laughs> they really like it. My mother doesn't get tattooed. My dad does. So <laughs> I it's, it's one or the other. My mom's not exactly thrilled about tattoos. She doesn't like them. But she can appreciate that I'm actually doing something that I love to do. And my dad really like he likes to get tattooed, so I tattoo him and it works out well for him. <laughs>